In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Data Hub to allow remote configuration access through a remote config utility. The remote config utility allows you to configure local or remote copies of the Data Hub from any computer. This is useful when the Data Hub is running as a Windows service, or if you have multiple Data Hubs across your enterprise and want to manage their configuration from a single location. Because security is a priority of ours, we install the Data Hub with remote configuration disabled. This video will show you how to enable it and what else you need to know to establish the connection using the remote config utility. Let's start by opening our Data Hub and heading to the security section. The first step we need to do is add a user that has both remote config access and a strong password. So we're going to click configure permissions. Notice here that we have a, a default permissions database. The first thing we need to do is add a new user. I'm going to click in the username and start typing. I'm going to call my user remote config user. And I'm going to click in the password section and I need to set a password. The password must be eight characters and must have mixed case. I'm going to do my password one. Click OK. Now we've created our user, we've given it a strong password, and the next step is to enable the different groups that this user will be in. The user needs to be part of the remote config group, which will add both config admin and the load config ability. And second, it needs to be able to do basic connectivity to allow it to connect to the data hub. If we click apply, we now have the user set up so that we can connect with that user using the remote config interface. So let's open up the remote config interface. Uh, the remote config interface can be found in the start menu under the cogent section or what I do is I just do a quick search in my um, on my Windows machine and find it that way. So I want to show you a couple things we need to to make sure that match up between our data hub and our remote config interface here. Let's start by walking through the different parameters. The name here is a friendly name you give this connection. This allows you to add different connections to your list of connections. Uh, we will call this my local data hub. In this case, localhost is fine because the data hub is on the same computer. Uh, you can either put in the host name or the IP address of the machine running your data hub. The next is the HTTP port. You will find that by going to the data hub web server tab. You need to make sure act as a web server is enabled. This is enabled by default when you install the data hub. The default port though is usually port 80. I'm already using port 80 on my computer for something else, so I've had to change my port, and in this case, I've just specified 8080. The next setting is the data port setting. The data port setting can be found under the tunnel mirror section. There's two options for the data port. There's a plain text port and a secure port. Notice that because we have use SSL unchecked, we are going to be connecting over the plain text port. If you do plan to use SSL to connect to the data hub over the data port, you need to make sure you're using the data port that you've specified under accept secure connections on this port. Okay, next we are going to specify our username, which it already is populated as remote config user, and the password, which is my password one. We're going to hit enter. Notice that the interface looks exactly the same. Uh, let's just go through it real quick to kind of show you. If you go to the OPC UA section, you'll see everything available for OPC UA. Or let's go to my MQTT section, you'll notice everything available for MQTT. Uh, you have all the same options to be able to view the data, view your connections, view the event log or the script log. Everything that is typically available through the regular configuration is also available through the remote configuration. I hope this video was helpful to show you how to 
add a user that has remote config enabled as well as then what settings are required to create the connection to your data hub and where you find those settings.